Have you ever found a cabinet in the world and looted it and then come back a week later only to find that all of the loot returned? This is when a cell resets its inventory. I suppose you could explain it away in lore by saying that since then, um, a raider has come by and restocked the cell. But every 30 days or so, cells tend to be reset. So cabinets and containers throughout the world will reset with new loot. Now the problem is that this reset can be triggered by certain mods. So if you download a mod that has a .esm that fiddles in any way with interior cells, that is any uh, structures that contain things like cabinets and bookshelves and uh, loot boxes and all of that, it can have the chance to trigger a reset on all of the different cells within the game, which can be a big problem when it comes to power armor. So you're out in the wasteland and you find a, a piece of power armor left by the wayside and you take it home and then as the game progresses you collect pieces of power armor and you put it on that one power armor frame until finally you get a full set of X01 power armor and you're thrilled and you're happy and you've got you've got it upgraded to the maximum possible upgrade you've got it painted and it looks wonderful and then you install a mod and you come back only to discover to your horror that the very same power armor frame has deleted all of your beautiful X01 power armor and replaced it with T45. This can cause anyone to throw the game down in abject horror, never to pick it up again. Well, what has happened is the game considers the power armor frame to be a container much like a chest. And what it did is, because you installed a mod that has a .esm, it triggered the cell reset bug, which caused this container, the power armor frame, to reset itself to factory defaults. That is, to reset itself to the way it was in the world when you found it. So when you found this power armor frame, it had only the T45 helmet and only the T45 torso. So the cell reset bug deleted everything that was on it, and put back the T45. Heart breaking. Now, I know that this is scary, but I don't want to dissuade you from using mods ever again, because this is a rare bug. It doesn't happen with all mods. In fact, if you're using a mod that only replaces the texture of a file or the mesh of a file, or maybe it just replaces some sound effects in the game, you're not going to experience this bug. This bug will only happen with complicated mods that come with plugins like .esps and .esms that change interior cells in the game. That is, plugins that change the way items spawn inside containers. Those are really the only mods that are going to introduce this bug. So don't be afraid of modding. It's still good to find mods to make your gameplay better. Just be careful when selecting mods to install in your game. So obviously, we need to figure out a way to avoid the cell reset bug. The first way, of course, is to never install any mods. All right, so there you go, console players. One really good reason to never use mods and to play on consoles instead. Okay, sure, we'll give you that one. But uh, the reality is that there are many problems with Fallout 4 that can only be fixed with mods, and half of the fun of playing this game is playing it in a modded state. So that's not a realistic uh, solution for many of us. So solution number two, is to never store items in containers that are found in the world. Instead, always build your own containers. So to avoid having all of your items deleted, build containers using your workshop, and then make sure that you only store items in your built containers. The reason this works is because since you built this container, there's no script associated with it that tells it to regenerate inventory, right? There's nothing that says, okay, when the player starts the game, please provide, you know, 35 millimeter pieces of ammo and a newsboy cap. Instead, there's no script associated with it and it will only ever contain what you place in it. So instead of putting things in a container that is in the real world, uh, that was in the world when you first joined, make sure you create your own containers or just store everything in your workshop. Now the power armor solution is a little bit tricky, but stick with me, let's get through this. Fast travel to Good Neighbor and talk to Cleo. Hey Cleo. Hi, 
and sketch you. Sure. Go to her miscellaneous section and you see that she has a power armor frame for sale. Now, it costs 2,400 caps, but it's worth it so that you never have to deal with this horrible bug ever again. So buy it. And then the power armor frame will appear in this power armor station over here. Uh, it does not appear in your inventory, so make sure that you actually hop in the power armor uh, frame that you just bought before leaving. Then go back to your home settlement. And then make sure that you only put your power armor on the frame you just purchased. That's the only real way, aside using mods or some other script, to make sure that you don't lose an entire suit of XO1 power armor due to the cell reset bug. This power armor frame, because I found it out in the world, it's going to reset itself many times. You know, as, as I install mods that have ESMs, as more mods come out and I experiment with new mods, this is just gonna happen. That's just part of the nature of modding with Fallout 4. So do yourself a favor, go buy a power armor frame from Clio at Good Neighbor or one of the other merchants that sell power armor frames, pick it up, bring it back to your settlement and only put your precious power armor on the one that you purchased. And make sure that if you do decide to store some of your items, in containers that you only either put them in your workshop or in a container that you built in your settlement, not some random container in the world. So there you go, public service announcement from Oxhorn. This is in direct response to a comment from a, a, a loyal viewer. Uh, and uh, this is something that I was wondering about for a long time too. So I hope this was useful. Be sure to subscribe for more Fallout 4 content and show up to my weekly show, Scotch and Smoke Rings, uh, every Thursday at seven o'clock p.m. Pacific time. Just Google it and you'll find it. Thanks again for watching.